This video is sponsored by OWC. WatchOS 7 brings many new features and updates to the Apple Watch, but it does drop one useful feature that many users may have used as sort of a second nature interaction on their wrists, and that is the force touch gesture. In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 tips on how to access some of those hidden controls and additional content that used to be displayed by using the force touch gesture. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Clearing all notifications might have been one of the more useful force touch gestures, and with notifications coming in fast and by the handful, users need a way to clear them all at once rather than deleting one by one. Thankfully, all you need to do is swipe down to access the notification shade, and then scroll to the very top of your notification list to access the clear all button. To create a custom watch face with a background picture, you still need to open the Apple Watch Photos app, and then select a photo, and then instead of pressing firmly on the display like you used to, just go ahead and tap the Create Watch Face icon in the bottom left corner of the screen instead. And then from here, you have the options to select the Kaleidoscope or Photos Watch Face. To create a new message in either the Mail or Messages app, just simply swipe down to reveal the new message button. Using Force Touch on the Activities app main screen used to reveal a weekly summary of your activity progress so far, or the Change Move Goal button to adjust the amount of calories that you're aiming to burn. If you scroll down to the bottom of that screen, you'll see both of these options replaced by individual buttons. When viewing a message in the Messages app, using Force Touch allowed you to quickly share your location with the message sender or view more details about that contact. These options can now be found by just scrolling down to the bottom of the message screen right below the instant replies. Now, I don't switch between the Honeycomb app view and the List app view often, or the Grid or List view, whatever you want to call them. Mostly just use this during the initial setup of a new watch, but this is one lifesaver for those who need that sweet list view and can no longer force touch to access that control. Just go ahead into settings and under app view, change from grid to list. Trust me, you'll thank me later. It's a time saver rather than trying to look through that grid of all the apps. It's just in a nice alphabetical list. In the old days, a force touch would bring up the option to change between weather conditions, the chance of rain, and the temperature inside of the weather app, but it's actually even easier without force touch because all you have to do is just tap the screen to simply cycle between those display modes. With the Apple Watch camera app open, force touch would reveal a hidden submenu offering access to your phone's HDR, flash, live photo, etc. In watchOS 7, all these controls are accessed by tapping the three dots icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. This will reveal a vertical scrolling menu with all of the options that you would need to control your iPhone's camera. Changing the view options inside of the calendar app used to be super simple with the force touch. And unlike our last tip, there really is no easier way to change the calendar view. You'll have to instead go into settings, calendar, and then view options. And finally, editing watch faces used to be just a real simple force touch on the currently displayed watch face. And thankfully, this replacement action is pretty much the same concept by just simply long pressing on your watch face that's currently displayed in order to switch or edit these watch faces. This long press pretty much feels like a force touch, haptic feedback and all. Before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. One product that really caught my attention recently is the OWC Envoy Express. This is the world's first Thunderbolt certified bus powered add your own drive enclosure, which gives you the power to build your own external SSD drive. It's designed to support any 2280 M.2 NVMe SSD, and it's meant to be future-proof with no limit on future storage capacities. It has a super convenient build that's ready to go with an integrated 10.2 inch cable. It runs very silent and cool and is extremely fast. This is definitely going to be my go-to solution for editing on the go. And if you're interested in the Envoy Express or any other products that OWC has to offer, be sure to click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.